said in Butte had more than 1,000 birds land in it last weekend, but officials were prepared with some new technology to get them out. KXLF's John Amy tells us how it was done. It's not the 4th of July. But Butte set off fireworks last weekend to keep migrating birds out of the toxic water of the Berkeley pit. We're ramping up uh, different hazing technology deterrents and we're in the testing phase. So we deployed uh, a multitude of deterrents. We have a drone that looks like a bird of prey. We have a gas powered airplane uh, remote control. Officials with Montana Resources have been improving their hazing strategy ever since tens of thousands of snow geese landed in the pit last November, killing thousands of birds. About 1,100 birds were shooed out of the pit last weekend with the help of fireworks and lasers. And they were very effective. They, uh, they got the birds up uh, Friday night. Uh, Saturday morning we had another 250 come in. We deployed those fireworks and lasers again, and we also tried the drones. While Montana Resources has been hazing waterfowl out of the pit for the past 20 years, the incident back in November was so massive, so overwhelming, that they never want to get caught off guard like that again. You know, we have to be prepared for that to happen again. It was a unique situation, but you never know if that can repeat itself. The mining company will be busy this season because the fall is a high migration period for birds over Butte. Butte sits in between um, the Pacific and the Central Flyway. And so we really get sort of a double whammy of migrants, which for birders is fantastic. I mean, again, right here at the Lexington Ponds, you've probably got eight species right there. Um, but for some, for the Berkeley Pit, uh, that's not necessarily a good thing. People can expect to hear more fireworks around the pit, and officials plan to bring in even more technologies to keep the pit free of birds. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. And Montana Resources did not report any bird deaths from this weekend's hazing. So leave it to Butte to come up with something innovative, and we are so happy to have you back, Mike Hurd. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>